All righty. Joining us on the show today is an actress, fashion designer, social and brand influencer. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show, ex Big Brother Titan housemate, Olivia. Hey. <laughs> Thank you so much. Can I Thank call you, you um, Becky? Like oh. Becky with good hair. Uh -huh. because of her. Yes. Your hair. So I saw it for, I know it wasn't, uh, probably not true, but let me clarify. They say okay. you carry 72 weeks to the house, one for every uh, day. Uh, oh, no. So how many weeks did you take to the house? Mm, I don't know. You must but a lot, know, more you than 12. You know yeah. how many weeks you took. More than 12. Because <laughs> yeah, you're not, you're not repeating, more you had a suitcase for a week. <laughs> Wow. Is it like you just like hair or like was that a strategy as well or like No, not a strategy. That's just me. I love looking good like Okay, Becky. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, talking about looking good and uh, people, your relationship with the housemates. Yeah. There were a lot of relationships, some were friendships, there were some people we thought that you liked in a certain way. Okay. So, uh let's start with Tabang. Okay. Yeah, what was the deal with Tabang? Cuz I saw when uh, there was this point when you said something about uh, someone exercise saying you like something, that was, yeah. my, that was my own shot. And then well, someone saying you like that. It was an exercise massage situation, <laughs> and they said that. They said that was a punishment. No, that was a punishment for Big Brother. Yeah, it was a punishment because I was the head of house at that point. So yeah. it was a punishment for Big Brother. But you meant to enjoy the punishment. <laughs> so why were you upset when someone said you really liked Tabang? Why was I upset? Yes. Because I don't yeah, like him in that way. In what way? <laughs> Why are you laughing? In what way? I just like him as a person. So what, be, um, what uh, my partner, Jussie J, taught Big Brother was the opposite. I see. Yeah. Oh. So I saw that you were really close to... Uh, What's her name again? Um, Yvonne. 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 Yeah. yeah. Yes. So who was that? What was that connection like once you got to the house? <laughs> so for me and Yvonne... Um, when she walked into the house, because I walked in before her, when I saw her, I'm like, okay, I think the drama is here. But funny yeah. enough, we connected that same night. Like, we started oh. talking that same night. I'm like, wow, I think she's not really who I think she is. Because, okay. yeah, but that's my sister. And, and then your partner, Juicy, and then Juicy and Yvonne now had a thing. Mm. Like, what, it was what, like, what's that it's, it's like, in the family. Okay, my brother. Yeah. Oh. That's my sheep. Yeah, my sister is talking <laughs> to my partner. Yeah. Or something. Like, mm. it, it was just sweet. I just like it. Like, you were first of all friends with this person and yeah, then prepared then you. Juicy and then Juicy came along. And Juicy yeah. came along. And, uh, you know, and how it was supposed to be like your partner, maybe you'd fall in love with your partner, but no, it would not fall in love <laughs> with your partner. Your partner yeah. belonged to your friend. Of so, was it that you were doing my sister's keeper? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it was interesting to me. How did you find that? For me, I just is someone like I see as my brother, and I always tell him, I feel like you don't like me because we're always going back and forth every time. So for this and Yvonne, I think they have a real and serious thing going on between them. I think um, the connection is real and what they feel for each other is, is real, do you understand? Aww. So but for Juicy, for one day, I'm seeing some things online like um, Olivia wanted Juicy at some point. Whoa. No, I haven't for one day for that. Like, I always encourage Yvonne, like, Juicy really likes you, like, and she's always scared, like, I think he's playing games with me. I'm like, mm -hmm. no, this guy is, like, he's really, really serious with his intentions and all of that. But, for one day, I didn't really see Juicy in that way. I really like him as my partner. And um, when the partnership thing began, I wasn't really happy. I even told people that, like, I don't think this, this partner thing is going to work. But at some point, when we, when we kind of come together, spoke about it and all, I started seeing Juicy as my only brother in that house, someone I can really report to and talk to, tell him how I feel and everything. Yeah. Interesting. Amazing. Wow. All right. So um, there was, of course, you know that when you're in the house, mm -hmm. something can look away, but then we yeah. outside, we see a whole other thing, right? Yeah. yeah. So Nigerian, the Nigerian females were now accused of gossiping. <laughs> okay. About the other um, housemates, especially the female yeah, South African South housemates. African. The South African females were, I think they were just on vibes and crews and... But then it was always like the Nigerian girls were the ones like always wanting to be in a coven of sorts. 
what was that about? Like, were you just was, asked, was it? Because, yeah, because I remember that I was at the press conference and then they said what they're trying to do is to bring Nigeria and South Africa together. Okay. Yeah. But then it now happened that we now got to the house and then Nigerians now say, oh, 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 what is our plan? <laughs> so was it like Nigerian versus South Africans or what was happening? No, it wasn't that way. It was funny how the, the four of us, yeah? Mm -hmm. Actually connected the first night, like the first night to work in his brother's house. I connected with Nana because of she's from the north. Mm -hmm. So and Jenny and Yvonne, they came along immediately. So like we just connected that same night. So it's not like a sisterhood something. Like we were just we just loved each other's vibes and we were mm -hmm. connecting naturally. Like nothing was forced. Like you won't see anywhere where um jenny was forcing yvonne to be her friend or mm -hmm. me forcing jenny to be my friend yeah. like it just happened naturally just like we're just waiting for the opportunity to meet and be friends or sisters kind of thing so it wasn't like right. we were ganging up against anybody fantastic and then what made it what actually made it worse was uh when something happened and you said this south africans and then you had to give an apology <laughs> a lot of people had an issue with it many people were of the opinion that oh you were forced to give that apology it wasn't from the bottom of your heart, but others were like, well, it might be the way she gives her apology. So what was that situation about? Because it, at first, it was looking like you had something against the South Africans, but then we saw you develop friendship with some of them and all of that blossomed. So for that, <laughs> <laughs> the apology wasn't forced. I had a conversation with a particular housemate and he was like, um, some people felt bad for what I said. I was like, okay, if that's the case, I'm going to apologize. But I think it was like a miscommunication because that was actually not what I meant. Mm -hmm. They misunderstood what I said at that point. But I didn't really hurt anyone on the show. And I was just trying to bring everyone together. If you can remember the speech I was giving, it was mm -hmm. kind of us coming together, not yeah. Yeah. forming not groups. Sleeping. Yeah, they get. Okay, so I like that you mentioned Nana because I remember there was that one day where Nana had to speak, exchange, and she was having a hard time. And Juicy, I think Juicy was trying to comfort her or something, and you went off on your partner. Why? Oh, like what was, because I was trying to understand, because I was watching and I was trying to understand where you're coming from, because you're saying that we're nominated. Why are you going to go and meet another person? And I was like, <laughs> what, what, what is the problem on ground? Okay, so for that particular day, I, um, I think the second week or the mm -hmm. third week, we were replaced with some certain people and like, okay, I was like, okay, Black Boy is my friend, but after the Sunday eviction, we became cool again. Then okay. another day, it happened again. I wasn't really mad at Nana, but I was like telling my partner, like, we just got replaced. Then why are you going to talk to Nana immediately? Like, <laughs> do you get, like... So when do you feel you should have gone? Mm. <laughs> like, <laughs> because as idiot. Yeah, it won't clear. Yes, as the hot. Why did they go meet them as the hot? You understand? <laughs> just, uh, and I was like balance the emotion or something yeah. but nana was there with her partner then you're going to meet me, her uh, then me you know how i'm feeling at that point yeah. you didn't even talk to oh, me you're going to I meet see. nana that's what i'm saying like i wasn't mad at nana because already i was coming in terms with the place and safety yeah. like i was telling my partner like it's normal you can actually get saved and replaced anytime so i wasn't mad at nana because of that because she tried her best yeah, yeah. I, okay. everyone saw she tried her best that day, i was afraid for you <laughs> To anybody that I want to talk to. I said, oh, you have to wake up. Okay, so I learned that after auditioning, you lost your mom. Yeah. I'm so sorry oh, about that. Sorry about that. How was it for you now preparing to get into the Big Brother Titans house, you know, at the end of everything? How did you carry on, you know, considering the fact that something just happened to you and then you still gave a show? So uh, it wasn't easy at all. Like, it wasn't easy. I lost my mom 16 September, so it's like, when I lost my mom, my mom is my best friend, I lost hope on everything, like, I didn't even know I'm going to survive the shock, because it was a lot. I was actually sitting beside her bed when she gave up, so I'm like, is, am I dreaming or is this reality? Like, I nearly, I lost hope, totally, yeah? So, but after I went to the village, my siblings, my dad, everyone came together, the burial happened 28 December. 
I couldn't check my mail to see if um, Big Brother Titans, if they're getting back to me. So I have to just log in my email to my friend's account. I'm like, I'm in the village. So any email you get, just call me and let me know. So I told my siblings, I'm not sure I can go for the show. They're like, you have to go. Like, you've been trying for three years. Just try, go. I think this is the right time. I think uh, mom is trying to make this work for you because... Obviously, she's been praying for you to go there because yeah. anytime I audition, I tell my mom, ah, I want to go for Big Brother. And she's like, okay, don't worry, we'll keep praying. Like, she keeps praying for me just to be on the show. So, for me, I, I didn't think it's something I can do. I, I didn't see myself going into that house and staying for seven weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't see myself because I, I told them, last thing I told my siblings, if I am I'm forced to go on that show and I have a mental breakdown, I'm still going to mm -hmm. come back here because wow. it was a lot for me, yeah? I didn't know I can actually do it. When my friend was like, you're strong, I'm like, I'm not strong. I have to keep pushing because if I don't push, yep. like we have to just be stagnant there and no one's going to help. Yeah. So like I have to take the bold step. It's not like it's something I wanted to do after I lost my mom, but considering everything, it's just like a step I need to take mm -hmm. just to make some things better in the family. Mm. Yeah. Okay. It was a good run. Okay. Well done. Yeah, Thank you've done, you. you've done it real well. So, uh, before you go, okay. I realized that in the house, there were times where you were trying to be the one settling issues and helping people mm -hmm. out, dishing out advice. <laughs> but then you had a big fight with Sandra. What okay. happened? Sandra. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Words. For that one too, I would say it's misunderstanding because okay. we were, I was actually cool with Sandra from day one. Mm. So, like... The day the pet thing happened, she wasn't having it. And I think everyone in the house wasn't actually having it because we didn't expect that. We walked into the house individually and now, yeah. like, you're paired together with someone. Mm -hmm. Like, your fate is, is now tied together. Uh, yeah. So, like, I didn't even know Sandra was in the bathroom trying to set through some kind of things. I was going to the bathroom and someone made a comment, don't come here and laugh. Then oh. Sandra picked it up from there. So, I think it's just, like... A misunderstanding. She thought oh, I was laughing at her, but oh. already when I was paired with Juicy, I know like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I want to know, um, what are your future plans? Do we see like a wig line? A lot. Oh, uh -huh. Of yeah. course. Uh -huh. <laughs> because you're giving up. So what are your plans? What are you working so on now? So for me, it's everything fashion, fashion designing, styling. Everything fashion. Everything beauty and fashion. Everything beauty, everything fashion and acting. All right, quick one before we go. Who's winning, Big Brother? <laughs> what happened? Who is, who is, who is your winner? Who is, who is your winner? Yvonne. Oh. Uh, Friendship. Friendship. As in. Ah, Friendship ah, ah, yes. but, but women supporting women, of so course. I support that as well. Of course. I'll have to support you. my sister and my girl, Nana, <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you so much. It <laughs> was great you. to have you on the show. Thank you. And thank you guys for tuning <laughs> to the show today. It's been an amazing one. We had Olivia in the building. We had Honish Money, Lady Kath, and Dala. This is where we draw the curtain. Bye for now, guys. <laughs>